back to Containing Luxury. Today is super shaky with the camera. Hey, Molly, today is our first day without a bunch of people here from our first workshop, which we got that container and that can, whoa, wow, good job pointing. That container built out from insulation to framing to uh, rough electrical, rough plumbing. And we managed to do that with 11 people that didn't know each other and uh, all different skill sets of construction or all different skill levels in construction. And this was our first workshop, so we didn't really know what to expect. Um, we had a, uh, we put some time into making sure that we thought we could accomplish what we could, but it was a test, you know, we didn't know how it was gonna go. And it was an awesome, amazing experience. And I wanna thank everybody that came out to it. We had a crazy, diverse, all walks of life people. And it was like a family by the end of it. I mean, it was just such an amazing time. It was exciting for me to know that, okay, this is really, really doable. Yeah. And so I, I really believe that somebody that comes here with no experience yep. can really walk away with the basics mm -hmm. to get, you know, to, then you hire your licensed contractors to come in and finish it out. For sure. Seeing people with uh, different levels of expertise actually come together and, and work to, you know, get things done and when you start to talk to everybody you kind of see that everybody's mindsets are pretty much in the same direction yeah. whether it's you know helping others or you know uh building a business foundation for your family you know and that was like really encouraging to see yeah yeah um i would probably take every class that you offered okay um because this stuff you know to me i i feel like i've been a sponge this week and it's been you know, not just fun, but inspiring, you yeah. know, something new, something different. And, um, absolutely. I would, you know, the way it's, again, the way it's been presented and it's not just the material, but I think the way you showed us things and explained them and kind of brought real world examples as well as, you know, uh, areas that you'd have to kind of tweak what you're doing, I, I thought was, was fantastic. We, we, we learned from your mistakes exactly without going through them yeah which is awesome yeah <laughs> save money save time energy uh, frustration everything yep and so that's what i really love about the, the course and the training everything the the biggest thing is seeing it done yeah and then understanding hey it's not that big of a thing yep um and you were great with the transitions between this is the stuff that you guys should be capable of doing and at this point contact your licensed professional. Yeah. So that, you know, we weren't overextending what we were doing. Comfort in the and safety. Of, uh, and safety. I mean, I mean, that's, you know, for me, it's like, okay, if I can, and, and you were great about also about telling people, hey, if you do all this stuff before you call the licensed professional, yep. this is how much money you're saving. Exactly. Because time is money. So, you know, from my experience of doing, you know, my odd shops with my businesses and stuff that I do at home, you know, this, this was, you know, great from a confidence standpoint and from the hey okay this is where i need to accept that i have limitations and call somebody else yeah so. yeah definitely i learned a lot from everyone that's here you know i spent a lot of time talking to daniel he's an architect and even just getting to understand everyone's purpose i thought it was really cool that everyone had a goal and a lot of people had a social impact goal it wasn't just about building for themselves whether it was building for personal sustainability um, I think some people had that in mind but most people want to help veterans want to create community want to have social impact and so I think there was a lot of alignment and vision with most of the people that were here so I think that's really cool we don't have the updated dates yet however hopefully by the time we release this video we will so just stay tuned on containing luxury .com. Um, this is crazy the house is really coming along we're gonna update you guys on this too. So I probably won't get too much into that. That's my buddy's dog, but she uh, has now kind of become the containing luxury compound dog. So, Molly, what are you doing? She listens so well. Hi, Molly. Molly, come here, come here. Say hi. That's Molly. She also wakes everybody up. You let her outside at like 5 a.m. and breakfast is going to be ready at 7.30. And then everyone's like, or she just comes out and goes, whoa, 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 whoa. So she woke everybody up. But it worked out well, the alarm clock. So anyway, it was an amazing time. We are going to be launching the new um, the stage of finishing those off. 
which it's a little bit more complicated. So I don't think we can do five days and finish the entire interior. So right now they're insulated, framed, uh, rough electrical, rough plumbing. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research to figure out today some reconnaissance of what I, what I think we can accomplish relatively quickly. Um, I think we're gonna go shiplap maybe on the ceilings and something else on the walls to make it easy enough um, to finish them off so that we have enough time to then quickly do some painting work and then put in the light fixtures, install vanities, all that kind of stuff. So we're either going to do it as a uh, another five day workshop that we try and just come up with a really quick system, um, but they're probably gonna be a little bit longer days to try and accomplish everything that we need to do, or we're gonna break it up into two workshops and spend a little bit more time on each thing. We don't know 100%, so comment below whether you'd like to do longer work days um, and try and do all the finishing from this step or do uh, maybe two workshops that, you know, one is installing all the shiplap and painting and maybe fixed light fixtures. And then another one could be like hooking up all the plumbing fixtures, putting in baseboards, doors, all that kind of stuff. So. It might be something we do like two, three day or two, four day um, classes. Another thing that we didn't really talk about about these workshops that we're doing is that we do like a cool excursion. So we found there's a zip line company right across the street. So it's about team building too and working together because that's really important on any construction site is getting to know the guys you're working with or the girls you're working with and um and working together as a team everybody's gonna have something to bring to the table you just have to figure out what that stuff is so that you can utilize those skill sets you will also get to see ta -da, what's going on back here so this is super cool it's really coming along so stay tuned we might have it we'll have a link in the description for the workshop uh updates it seemed like the synopsis of everybody's um critiques on the workshop was that staying at the property was part of the experience so you know we do offer like the local or you want to get your own hotel and then drive into the workshop every day but the people that did stay at the workshop were like you know what it's kind of part of the experience staying in one of the 20 foot containers or one of the 20 foot bunk houses and being able to see like okay i don't like this or i do like this and then when we're building that exact unit you now are like oh that's that wall or oh okay see i see right here I didn't like that so i actually want to move this back and this is how i would do it so it just gives you that experience of like sitting inside there and being like okay this is pretty small or i can make this happen this actually does seem like something i can do or this is what i would like to redesign and then when you're building it you understand how to make those redesigns we do have four bunk houses so after this next workshop we're gonna be adding these other ones to the inventory so we'll be able to house a couple more people. So it will be kind of short supply on if you do want to stay at the property. Um, but, uh, you know, if not, it's still a great experience coming down and uh, getting a hotel and, and just coming in for the workshop. So we hope you guys will enjoy this experience. And it's about getting out into nature. I mean, you kind of see where we are. This is all Government Canyon land back here. So nothing will ever be built. This is all state preserve. So, I mean, we're literally kind of living in the woods and that's what's really cool about this environment. It's disconnecting, getting out into nature, getting to know the people. Um, it was just the all together, just an amazing time. I learned stuff. Uh, we have professionals come out. Uh, some Sherwin-Williams executives came out and gave a lesson on what products should be used because I want to do like a bulletproof finish on that, that house up there. I never want to repaint it. Hey, Molly, she just follows me around. Um, I never want to repaint it again with how much prep and everything goes into that. Like I'm going to do this once and I want, like I told him, give me an oil rig finish the, the, whatever you paint the oil rigs with out in the middle of the ocean. That's what I want uh, to be on, on that container up there. And that's what they gave us. So they really educated us. I even had the painting contractor come out and uh, listen to what products and how the surface prep is going to go. We had a spray foam specialist come out and explain the differences on what types of foam should be used in what type of environments. So, I mean, even as a GC who's built a million things, I'm still learning stuff, you know? So it's, it's and one of the guys that was here was a, he builds hotels and he was like, dude, I'm so glad I came. 
You know, like I, I would, you know, I thought to myself, like, what am I going to learn about a 20 foot shipping container? And by the end of it, he was like, dude, it was just such an awesome experience. I'm so thankful I came. And actually, I think I'm going to have him out as a like guest instructor uh, because it is a lot of work, you know, just trying to manage everybody and to have another person that now has gone through this system. Um, you know, there's so many people, all walks of life, all these people have different things to offer and we all learn and, and build the energy off of each other. So we got a lot accomplished. It was really successful and it really opened my eyes to, to what we can do. So anyway, guys, I'm exhausted. I'm going to shower, change, clean the units. Molly's going to go run around and try and meet some more dogs that happened this morning who we found their home. We found the two dogs on the street and we found them and then they walked with us and then we found their home and got them back. So anyway, that's it. Random ADD moments with Blake. Continuing luxury. Out.